I'm from Eastern Long Island. I'm from the very tip, uh, East Hampton, Long Island. I grew up there. I went to East Hampton High School, public high school. Yeah, I had a fabulous, fabulous uh, biology teacher that got me hooked into biology. I knew I wanted to do biology in one way, shape, or form. And then I got to uh, college, and you do what every other college student does as you go. You wander through the curriculum until you hit something that goes, oh yeah, I get it. And for me, that was molecular biology. In my junior year, I took a molecular biology course, and for the first time in my life, it was like I didn't have to study. I enjoyed the material so much that it was like reading a novel rather than a textbook. I've always been the type of person that loved to solve puzzles. And that's what science is about. I mean, it's about the chase of the question. My philosophy of education is one of experimentation. I think everything needs to be tested and the curriculum as a hypothesis needs to be tested. You run various mini scenarios and experiments and through iteration you hone that curriculum down to a um, very workable, very practical model. That is what I want of the curriculum of our school, that it provides a current, up-to-date education that has been honed over a period of time uh, to make sure that it is the best possible education we can give to our students. Think about who your favorite teacher was in, in your educational history. I know who mine was. This chemistry professor that I had as my freshman year in university was a member of the National Academy of Sciences. And here's a guy teaching freshman general chemistry who's a National Academy member. He was on the Manhattan Project when he was 18 years old. And we were asking him questions. He said, you know, why? I mean, you're a member of the National Academy of Science. Why are you teaching freshman chemistry? And he looked us straight in the eye and said, the reason I'm teaching chemistry is because I wouldn't have anybody else teach it. This is my life. This is why it's so special. And it's affected me for the rest of my life. I mean, still to this day, I get a little choked up about it because that is teaching.